Alberta and Alva Pilliad used the weed killer Roundup for years to keep their yard healthy. And they say it almost killed them. From their ads, we felt that it was incredibly safe to use. Um, we've been fighting cancer for nine years now, how longer than me, and it was caused by Roundup. A jury in California has ordered Bayer to pay the Pilliads $2 billion in compensation and damages. It found the company failed to inform customers of the cancer risks posed by Roundup. The homeowners get more exposure, and we proved that in this trial, because homeowners were never warned to wear protective gloves, to wear a protective suit. They simply, Alberta wore shorts because she saw the man in the TV ad wear shorts. Roundup was developed by U.S. firm Monsanto, which Germany's Bayer bought last year. The Pilliads ruling is the third to go against Bayer over Roundup since August. In the two previous cases, the company was ordered to pay a combined $370 million. The firm's shares have declined more than 40% since June. As a result, Bayer is now worth $51 billion, less than the $63 billion it paid to acquire Monsanto. Bayer says it plans to appeal the court ruling, describing it as excessive. The company has also repeatedly defended Roundup as safe, a claim backed by U.S. and European regulators. There are over 800 scientific, medical, peer-reviewed, published studies that demonstrate glyphosate is safe and does not cause cancer. Regardless of who you believe, Bayer's problems seem likely to get much worse. It's been named in 13,400 other U.S. lawsuits over Roundup's cancer risk. The next trial starts in three months. Paolo Montesilio, TRT World. For more on this, let's bring in Ira Spitzer, who joins us from Berlin. Hi, Ira. A huge blow for Bayer, a $2 billion fine. Of course, the, the company will most likely appeal uh, this verdict. But uh, has there been any reaction from the German firm at all? Well, we have heard from Bayer since that shocking verdict was announced. And the German company says, uh, indeed, that they plan to appeal the verdict. And they also stressed uh, their belief that uh, the, the couple's cancer, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, was not caused by the glyphosate in their weed killer roundup, saying that there were uh, other risk factors for this couple that uh, that would have caused that cancer. So essentially saying that they uh, reject the verdict. They also pointed to uh, the U.S. Uh, Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA, who recently did uh, declare that uh, they believed that Roundup and the glyphosate in Roundup was safe. So the German company will, of course, uh, appeal the decision as well as the earlier verdicts against them here. But uh, whatever happens with that, they certainly have a major problem on their hands. Uh, one, it does appear that in the court of public opinion, at least in these uh, particular jury trials, there's a lot of skepticism about uh, about Roundup and about the potential for causing cancer. So with more than 13,000 cases in the U.S. Uh, lined up, uh, the German company certainly has uh, a lot of work to do to try and uh, to try and stem this uh, extremely serious tide. That's right. And as we heard in Paolo's story, Bayer only recently acquired Monsanto. Remind us why uh, that acquisition was always a, a controversial proposal to begin with. Well, just the size of Monsanto it, it itself was a or is a massive company. So uh, Bayer acquired Monsanto for $63 billion last year. Now Bayer's own valuation uh, is even less than the original price tag for Monsanto. So uh, shareholders were always worried about trying to uh, branch out more into agriculture in the way that Bayer did with Monsanto. And of course, the other big worry, which is now really coming to fruition was 
uh, the glyphosate lawsuits and the potential that glyphosate uh, was a carcinogen, carcinogen. So that is certainly something that shareholders were worried about. Many of them do feel that they weren't informed properly by uh, Bayer's management about the risk. In fact, last month, Bayer's CEO faced a grilling by shareholders who have uh, asked him to uh, to turn things around before the end of the year or else he himself uh, could be out of a job. So uh, we'll see how the rest of the year goes. We'll see uh, there's another lawsuit uh, coming up for Bayer with the same thing. But so far, it's certainly only been a string of defeats and no victories for Bayer uh, with regards to the glyphosate lawsuits. Okay, Iris Pitzer, we'll have to leave it there. But thank you so much for that update from Berlin.